Okay guys, let's build the Vesper structure of ICL3, iodine trichloride. So, um, first off, what did we say? Period 3 and below can do what? They can expand their valence, right? So that means that even though initially when we saw this we thought, wow, that's so weird because all of them only have one um, spot for an electron, right? So which one would be the central atom? Now we know that period three and below can expand their valence or use all of their valence electrons to grab another um, atom to make a bond, okay? So since that's the case, well, we look up at the periodic table and we see, well, chlorine's period three and iodine's period three. Which one is the central atom? So we're still not clear on it. But what did we say? How do we identify? Smallest electronegativity, right? So uh, iodine has that. Chlorine's got a, a bigger electronegativity. So iodine's going to be the central atom, okay? So let's go ahead and draw the iodine as our central atom. And then draw it, so the Lewis structure, then draw its valence electrons around it. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll draw the chlorine. And I'm going to draw that space next to the iodine there. Did everybody get to this point? So now we're going to show our fish hook arrows. So notice, this we would normally think of as a lone pair, right? But what can happen is it can split those two up, okay? I think that might be the money fall, guys. It's like a good call, but unfortunately. But I might not be hanging out with you guys very much, very much longer. Okay, so that one, sad, I know. Y'all can tell me how much you love me after class. Don't do it all right now. Like that? Is everybody okay with that? So notice, the ones that I didn't use, I still want to keep them as a pair. Okay, because electrons prefer that. So now, we're going to get something that looks like this. We have one going back. So if you look here on my little list, right, you're going to say, how many electron groups do I have around that thing? One, two, three, four, five. Is everybody okay with that? So sadly enough, you're going to have to memorize all of this stuff, okay? So notice I have a five there. Is everybody okay with that? So it's going to be in that group, okay? So now we look and say, well, how many atoms do I have? One, two, three, right? And how many lone pairs? One, two. So I look for that thing. One, two, three, one, two. It's a T-shaped molecule, okay? So even a better way to draw this would be with the orbitals kind of 
pointed to the sides, okay? But you can't really show that uh, very well on the um, board without showing the orbitals themselves. So oftentimes you'll see this molecule drawn like this. are spherical. Okay? I'm not going to go over every one of them because there's a lot, but I have recorded a bunch of them. Okay? And they're not all embedded, unfortunately, in the lecture. Okay? So what you want to do if you, I think I have a playlist, but just type in this word in the search bar and you'll get a bunch of them. Okay? So just type in that word. You'll get a bunch of them and then some of them will be T-shaped, some of them will be octahedral, some of them will be square planar, some of them will be trigonal bipyramidal. Okay, go through all of them. So again, we don't have time to go through every one of them in here, and you guys probably don't have the patience to go through every one. Everybody be sleeping by the time I'd be done. Okay, can I, well, this video probably won't be posted, but I'm gonna kill it, unless you guys got questions. 